Preventing child abuse in our city. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and a few state and local organizations are urging folks to keep a close eye on struggling families. Fox 55's Nico Panisi tells us some of the warning signs and what you can do to help. The sidewalks of West Main Street are lined with pinwheels. The pinwheel is a universal sign, or universal, um, I guess, connotation or notation um, for child abuse prevention, and it really is a symbol of innocence. Dee Sandrowski says Stop Child Abuse and Neglect, better known as SCAN, wants them to be a beacon of hope for abused or neglected children. Uh, parenting is the hardest job ever, and you know, right now we have a lot of stressors as parents. Um, last year, even more so than just regular um, kind of parenting stress. Sandrowski says family dynamics have grown tense throughout the pandemic. Some, some of us have lost our jobs. Some of us have to sit in an unemployment line. Some of us are waiting for unemployment to come. And when all of those stressors start to occur, it's like a pressure cooker in a home. Sandra Runkel with Prevent Child Abuse Indiana says there's ways to prevent these situations from getting dangerous. This is not something that, you know, is, is only meant for social workers or child protection to services, uh, this really must be a community effort. Runkel says if it gets out of hand, here are some warning signs. Bruising, especially in children who aren't mobile. Um, Non-bony prominence bruising, like in soft tissue areas, uh, especially uh, certain behavioral changes. Her message to anyone who may be a victim of maltreatment or neglect. To make sure and reach out and just share uh, some of those feelings and that they're not alone. Both SCAN and PK hope April and every month of the year, children are growing up in happy, healthy homes. In Fort Wayne, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. And to prevent child abuse, Indiana's biggest suggestion is that if you see something, to say something. And for more information on how to file a report, you can visit this story on our website, WFFT.com.